Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Outpost Engineer, and we're taking a look here at our copper data cube processing, and it is going to be a solo. Let me grab some of this. <laughs> Let's just see. In our, I've had this running for a while here between episodes, not like hours or anything, but we have not produced a single data cube in at least, I'd say, 20 minutes. Uh, let's see, it still has 105 more copper ore to analyze before it spits out a data cube for us. But we set up an uh, analysis machine, uh, what did we call this guy? A molecular analyzer uh, working on our tin plates, and that actually sp spit out a few right away for us. But now it's going to take some time. It's got 21 more on this one. Uh, so anyway, so we've got some research going. That's a good thing. We need to think about what we want to automate next. Let me just go ahead and drop these research cubes that I just picked up into our uh, satellite array. That gets us two more research points. Let's see, let's see what, we, what do we want to do next. Uh, splitter, I just don't think we need the splitter yet. Split and merge belt. Gain knowledge on how to process sand and smelt it into silica shards, and then grants you the manufacturer blueprint, which can construct large structures or products requiring more than three ingredients, and then lithium processing and steel processing. So I'm kind of thinking automation or steel processing. Why don't we do the steel processing and see what that gets us? Steel bars, uh, steel beams, and then steel cable. All right, and now what did we unlock? That splitters we knew about, silica processing we knew, automation two we had before, lithium we had, that's for the batteries. And then we've got uh, mass transport, unlock bulk transportation by cable claw. Now that sounds interesting. And then we've got ceramics as well. So because we have this lithium processing, it's making me wonder if solar panels are up here somewhere, and I'm guessing it could be the silica extraction. So maybe we go after that next. It's going to be a little while before we have the research points to do it, but I'm kind of thinking the silica extraction might make sense and get us the solar panels, and then we could follow that up with the lithium processing and get batteries. And then we wouldn't have to worry about setting up uh, coal processing and burning for our power. We could start throwing down uh, some solar arrays, and battery arrays and beef up our power network. All right, pretty cool. What is next? Let's go ahead and get this furnace going on copper. I think I just fetched some, so let's do that while we're thinking about what's next. We could automate the copper production. We have more uh, copper veins down here. Uh, where are they? Right over here. It's kind of hard to see. I can pop a torch down. We've got plenty of them now. Let's pop a torch down here. Maybe up the top. How about right there? So we can see we've got copper. Uh, we'll leave this one like we have it all set up here just for the data cubes. But we could set up a line kind of coming out this way to handle um, our copper smelting into bars and then maybe fork off of that and have some copper wire being made automatically, and then eventually bronze. So that's an option. What else? We have our stone automated. So while we're thinking, I'm just going to run over there and grab some stone blocks. That's another thing we set up very recently. We could, if we wanted to, do the same kind of thing and set up a molecular analyzer over here, maybe to pull stone blocks out of our constructor. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see. Now these are going to accumulate a little bit slower because it takes four stones to create one of these uh, rocks. But that's another option. Or we could just process the stone. We could put a molecular analyzer down and just take out stone from our miner here. So that is yet another option. Or we could put another stone miner down and do it and get more data blocks going. 
but I'm thinking we should probably think about automating the things that are going to allow us to expand the factory faster. And for me, that is belts and inserters. We know we're going to need a ton of those as we go. We're going to need miners as well, but probably more belts and inserters. So it'd be nice to get those automated. This thing takes three ingredients. A constructor, I think will only take two. Crafts a new part out of a single input part. Ooh, that's only takes one input. And our assembler says it will piece together more complex parts out of two or three ingredients. So with an assembler, we should be able to create inserters because there's only three ingredients. Now, if we want to automate inserters, then we probably want to automate the ingredients for the inserters. We've got the tin plates already automated. We would just need to automate the bronze gears and the copper bars. Or we could start with the belts here, and that is tin plates and copper cables. Why don't we do this one first and automate our conveyors? And because uh, we've already got tin plates, maybe we can pull off of that line somehow. And then this will get us started on automating our copper lines too. So we know we're going to need at least one miner for the copper, right? So let's go ahead and get that built. And we're going to need, uh, we're going to need a couple inserters for sure. I need to get more bronze gears. So we just made a bunch of bronze, I believe. Ooh, I'm out of things to, uh, melt. Let me go grab some copper here and just keep that furnace running. We need to go fetch some coal. I'll be glad when we don't have to, if we don't have to rely on coal powered furnaces, It'd be nice not to have to worry about the coal and just power it with electric. All right. So yeah, we need to pound out some gears right out of bronze. I think we have plenty of bronze. And then that'll get us our inserters. We have one already. I think we're probably going to need Two. We're going to need a copper box. Let's make two of those while we're here. What else do we need? We're looking to automate the copper cables. So we'll need, I think, a constructor for this as well to actually do the cables. So we'll get all that crafting. I've got plenty of rocks here so we can get a level terrain if we need to. Got the miner. We've got a fair amount of copper cable now. And I guess we'll just take it off of here. I don't see a lot of other copper uh, on the map. I'm sure if we go exploring, we'll find some more, but let's just take it from here and let's go and plop down our miner and get this started. So let's see. Find my toolbar. I know I got one on here somewhere. There it is. Boom. And then hopefully that is on the resource. So I'm just going to do it. Uh, sure. Just like that. And then we will take a grabber like that. And then we need our constructor. I guess we'll face it this way. And I'm not sure where the front is. I kind of see that as the front. So I'm going to put that there. Then we need another inserter like that, I believe. And then our copper box like that. And I think all we need to do is run power. So let's run another power pole out this way. Maybe over here. Boom. And then we'll grab the wire and we'll wire this up to a power connection. And then this guy wire up to our constructor. And again, wire this guy up to our miner here. Boom. And let's just see that may be it. That may be it. And we will have, oh, we got to pick a recipe out of this guy, right? Let's do the copper cables. And let's just see how that goes. Again, I'm thinking of prioritizing automating the things that are going to allow us to grow. 
um, as opposed to automating things that are going to feed into data blocks right now. So we've got two molecular analyzers going. They're going to churn out pretty slow. But uh, in order to expand the factory faster, I think we should be automating these building materials that we need. So let's see what's going on here. I don't see copper being grabbed out. Why not? Let me grab the first stack just to see if that kicks anything off. Nope. Okay, now I am not sure why that would not be grabbing copper or out of here. This guy wants to make copper cables. I see how he's powered up. I think we have power. It says 63 out of 64. Hmm. Now we got to debug here and see why are we not. Oh, I know why we're not. We don't make uh, copper cables from ore. We got to we gotta smelt that down first. You know what that means? It means we got to get coal all the way over there. <laughs> so that is not great. So coal is an issue. And I wish we had a way to uh, smelt off of electricity. Because I can run power cables a lot faster and cheaper than I can run belts of coal. So let's just see if we have any options. Get the iron door. Yeah, I don't see a machine here. You need like an electric furnace is what we need. Uh, let's see, this guy's done doing his copper. I've got some coal on me. Let's go grab some more copper while we're thinking about it. We're thinking this through. But I'm not enthusiastic about running a huge belt of copper uh, coal down here to feed a furnace. Well, let's see. So that we can smelt that ore. I'm just looking, just scoping out to see if we have any coal nearby. But it doesn't look like we're going to be lucky for that. Since I'm over here, I may grab some more of these blocks. There's a big bunch of coal over here and then more a little further away, but that's pretty far. I think that's farther than uh, this deposit way up here. Although it's, yeah, it's hard to tell. Hard to know for sure. So yeah, maybe I should have researched that splitter. <laughs> and we still kid. I think that's only a five research points and we may even have that by now. Yeah, if we did, boy, yeah, we could split and then head on down that way. Bummer. Is there any copper closer to here? Let's see. Let's just take a little bit of a look around, see what's nearby. This is just grass. We got some coal here. Anywhere where we had coal and copper nearby. Here's some more tin. Looks like there's some coal way over here. Yeah, that's our main coal mine. Is there any copper nearby? I don't see any. Got more tin up here. Let's see. Looking for copper ore near coal so we can uh, power a furnace to smelt it. I don't see any. Well, that's a bummer. All right. Well, we're just going to have to hand make a bunch of belts and then maybe research that splitter. Here's a ton of coal over here. I don't know if I want to come this far out. Lots of coal. Plenty of coal here. And some little plants and more tin ore. We've got lots of tin. Lots of coal. Ooh, what is that? Is that just a rock? These are rocks, I guess. Yep. We can look and verify. Boulders. Gather some stones. 
These little swamp things are pretty cool. These trees here that light up at the bottom. Shroom, a fungi-like organism found in swamp environments. There's a little typo over there. What is this? This is mm, swamp. And this is one big island. So now I'm not sure if this is, you know, like randomly generated. I don't think it is, but I'm not sure. You know, a lot of voxel games, it's a randomly generated map. I'm not sure that's the case here, given that we have that one volcano. All right. Ooh, yeah, here's a bunch of copper. That's way too far away, but just checking things out. Uh, let's see. We could go around the whole map. Why don't we do it? We're already halfway there. We can explore and get an idea of what we've got going on. Tin. I'm not seeing many new ores. We saw iron way over on the other side. This, I believe, is the snow, is it? No, here's tin. We've got a bunch of tin here. We've got plenty of tin. rock and then i guess we'll get the silica out of the sand loam i looked that up that's actually like a like a kind of dirt or soil coming around here to see if there's any surprises for us sandstone we saw that what's this down here okay there's some more iron Iron has been a little bit harder to find. There's some nice copper, tin, desert sand, coal. And we should make our way back. More copper, and then there's their iron here, it looks like. Yep, iron. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Tin. Desert sand. We may end up using this for the solar panels. Not sure. All right. Let's get back. Hopefully we're making our way around. Back. To, there we go. There's our big satellite dish. So there we did. We just did a quick little island tour. And let's fetch data cubes and see if we can research that splitter. And maybe we'll split off that coal that we already have. Uh, being mined. It looks like there's plenty on the belt. The belt's not really moving that fast. So did we get a data cube out of here yet? Nope. Still analyzing. Or no, this is our new thing. We haven't set that up yet. Uh, it's over here. Hey, we got one. Let's go pop that in. Before I do, let's go fetch and see if there's any up here. There's two. Nice. All right. Three data cubes. Let's feed those up to the satellites. Ooh, I've only got one research point. Let's go to the inventory. We'll pop these guys in. That will get us up to four, which is not quite enough for the splitter. So we got to wait for another data cube. In the meantime, let's handcraft the belts. Unfortunately, I don't like having to do that, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. We've got, looks like six on us. Let's see how many more we can do. Tin plates and copper cable. We've got 12 copper cable, tons of tin plates, right? That's something automated. Okay, so we'll max out on the belts. We'll grab some copper. Let's go ahead and make some more uh, wire. So those are needed for the belts. We also need 10 plates. We've got 24 on hand. We've got actually more than that. 41 on hand. Okay, we're chewing through the wire, but we're also crafting more. And again, we need to run coal or we need to build a furnace too. All right, another one of these guys. Let's see, where is that? Is that on the anvil? Yep, 10 stones, boom. Get ourselves a furnace. We probably need a couple more inserters. Let's get those queued up. So yeah, boy, it'll be nice if they have, or if we discover an electric furnace. Because again, routing this coal is going to slow us down a little bit. 
I'm thinking we'll just maybe split off up here. Somewhere up here. And then we'll have to ramp our way down. One more little block. Yeah, right there. Let's see if I choose a pattern on this. What we get. Let's do tile pattern. And what does that do? I'm not sure. So if I pick that and now I drop one of these, will I get a different? Oh, neat. Okay, cool. So I don't know if I need to take these up to get that. Uh, let's see. Is it going to just let me double click it? I'm trying to see how I can disassemble this. And drop a new one. Oh, I probably need to mine that out. Well, let's see. Yeah. Let's just try it. So I want to mine this out and make things look pretty. Boom. And now we're getting this uh, like cobblestone look or stone look. Cool. Not bad. So we can take some time later and make it look pretty. Uh, let's see if we got another data cube so we can get that splitter. That's what we need. We do. Nice. All right. Let's go do that. I'll grab some copper here. While we're on our way, I probably should have grabbed grab some coal too. All right, let's get this next data cube researched. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, it's sending the data report. We are going to grab a splitter. As soon as that's researched and we'll see what it takes. Okay, we're all done. What do we get? A vertical splitter, splits and merges belts, bottom up, okay? And we got a splitter, splits and or merges belts, left and right. Takes two conveyors and two templates. Okay, we can make one of those right away. Let's go see, I'm guessing that's gonna be at the craft table here, or assembly table, I should start calling it by the right name. Here we go, splitter. Let's go ahead and craft one of those. It needs more bronze gears. We've got 20 bronze. Let's go ahead and pound out more gears just so we have them on hand. And that's something we're gonna have to automate later. I grabbed copper, didn't I, at some point? Yep. Let's keep smelting copper. And where are we going? Do we have everything we need? Can we get more belts. Let's grab more belts and get those crafting while we're on our way up and see if we can't put a splitter here. I think I can take this up now. Boom. And then let's put that splitter down. Try that for the first time. Drop that here. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm guessing. Okay. So the front is usually the, the highlighted area at the front of this block usually is where it's going to head to. So let's rotate. I think this is the way we want it. That's what I think. And I need to craft some downward sloping blocks or downward sloping conveyors. So let's do that. One, two. I have an upward and I have a downward. Let's do an upward and a downward and see if I can't get some more regular ones built. And how's our copper doing? I don't have any more ore. So let's uh, see. We want to run coal all the way down, way down there. <clears throat> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I think we can do a regular belt here. Boom. And then can I come down? That one is which one that is the upward we want a downward and that is going to be here let's see yep yep nice okay not bad now what do we want to do we want to head kind of almost straight straight this way let's do it
Oh, we got to get rid of this. It's actually in our way here. Whoop. I can just mine that out. Boom. We got some grass for that. I don't think it went into the inventory. I don't think there's a use for grass yet. Could be wrong. Loam, lumber, wood blocks. Yeah, I don't think we actually picked that up. We just cleared it out of our way. All right, let's continue with the belts. Ooh, we had a little bit of a glitch there. I'm not sure why that would have happened. But yeah, we deformed the terrain. Here we go. Downward slope, rotates, and let's see. Let me go back to inventory. That's the downward one. Okay, I grabbed the wrong one. Downward, this way, and then flat. Uh, let's see. Maybe I need to put a block down here. So, well, let's see what happens. Okay, are we actually underground or are we going to come back up? I think we're going to come back up. And we need to come way down there. All right, this is working. I'm sure there's a faster way to plop these down. It may actually, mm, it's got four connections. One, two, three, four. Let's go around it. <laughs> so I don't feel like uh, we were reworking those connections. All right. How is our coal? It is flying at a snail's pace down this way. We may be able to reuse this coal line for other things as well. So it's not the end of the world. It's not only going to be for what we're doing over here. I'm sure we'll, we may find a way to use this other things uh, let's check data cubes nothing let's grab copper until we get this automated we are smelting by hand probably need to grab some coal at some point all right and let's see more belts belts Belts. Tin plates. I could probably go fetch some more tin plates. And then we're going to need to make some copper cable. Let's do that. Let's uh, make more copper cable. We'll go grab plates. I'm going to fetch some coal here too, just for the manual smelting that we're doing. Boom. We can check for data cubes while we're up here nothing yeah they're gonna get slow it gets slower and slower as you go i'm gonna grab a stack of plates let me slow things down even further and then you know what i can grab i think i can grab some no i can't i'm just gonna try and grab some uh tin ore because eventually we're gonna be out of tin ore uh, out of uh, tin bars. So we're not actually, we're actually using those all up. So maybe I'll grab some ore. Although I've got plenty. No, I don't need to grab ore. But we may need to do some hand smelting of the tin over here as well. All right, let's put down some more belts. I think we've got some crafted here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's think about what makes sense in terms of a layout. So this has got to go. And that can probably stay if a furnace fits. I don't know if it will. Nope. We got to take this up and take this up. And so we'll need the ore to come into our furnace here. That can go like that. Then we need to pull out of the furnace with a inserter. Oops, boom. And now we can put down our um, constructor, boom. And then I may 
chisel out some of this dirt. I think I need to do that. Let's uh, see if I can bring this down a bit. Okay. And we need another inserter. And then our copper box. Whoops, did that, I didn't place that inserter. Boom. Copper box. Boom. Let's mine some of this away just so we can see what we're doing. I think this is getting me the loam, perhaps. We'll see. Inventory. Let's see what we get. I think we're getting loam when we do that. We'll see what that's useful for. We might be able to use that even to level off the land, but we'll see. Okay, now I got to get coal into this furnace. I'm actually thinking about coming around the back. Um, like clearing out some of this. To level this out a little bit. And then having the uh, coal come through the back. Takes more belts, but uh, I think that'll look better. Ooh, we're hitting something here. I wonder what that is. That's more rock. Yeah, more rock. Just take this out and let's see. We have to come down the hill. Let's go ahead and get back to our belts. Boom, boom. I think we go one more. Oh, gotta go craft some more. Grab some copper. We're almost there to having, you know, some copper being mined automatically. So let's, uh, Let's see if we can make more belts. We got plenty of tin plates. How am I doing on copper cables? I got 20, so let's grab 20 belts. All right, we'll head back over. The belt is nice and loaded up with coal. I've got an inserter ready to get this in the furnace. And we should be good. Now the downward slope is which one? Is it this guy? Nope, that's the upward. We're going to have to make some more of these, it looks like. Okay, and more of this and this. And we're going to come back right here, I think. I think that's the last spot. So, we might just be able to do it. Boom. Oh, yeah, boom and boom. Nice. Now let's get our inserter placed here. All right. We will sit back and watch and see if this works as we intend. But if it does, we'll be in good shape. I need to run wire uh, while we're coal is slowly moving down the line. Let's, oh, there goes my last wire. I just need, I need to craft some more. But we need to wire up power to that constructor. All right, let's come through here and grab some more copper. Boom. Pop in some coal. And let's hammer out some more wire. And we can wire up that constructor and we should be good. All right, we are wiring up. We are starting to smelt. Before we can assemble anything, We've got to get this guy wired up. Boom, boom. And we got to pick a recipe. So let's come in here and pick. What do we say? Copper cables? I think that's what we were going to do. So off we go on copper cables. That along with the tin plates. And <laughs> now we've got to see about about belting these together, but I think that copper cables along with the tin plates are what gets us conveyors, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Tin plates and copper cables. Okay, those are both automated and they're both far away. So let's take a look at where we can bridge those together. But that'll get us, once we get that connected up, that will be awesome because we will have We'll have automated conveyor belts. 
just a little concerned that all of our tin plates look like they're going into the molecular analyzer. I was hoping we were producing enough to keep filling up our box here, but it looks like it's not. So we might have to toggle that on and off our molecular analyzer. And it's going as fast as the smelter can do it. Hmm. Well, let's wrap the episode here. We got uh, copper wire automated. We had to run a line of coal out there. That is going. So we've got wire. We do have tin plates going, but we are running them through the molecular analyzer. And that is, uh, that's consuming our full production. I thought we would have extra. But it looks like it is consuming our full production. So that's a little bit of a bummer. And we are not producing any surplus tin ingots either. They are all immediately being turned into tin plates. Or, yeah. And then those tin plates are immediately being fed into the analyzer. We may need to take out this. Um, yeah, we may need to take out this inserter here and maybe just temporarily feed it, uh, feed it some of this extra tin ore, maybe run a belt here and feed the analyzer tin ore instead of the tin plates. Cause we've got a surplus of the ore. We don't have a surplus of the plates. And then, uh, and then we'll look at routing those plates down here. We'll take out this tree. We'll route the plates through here somehow. All the way through here and then combine up with our, oops, not there. Combine up with our wire, which is over here somewhere. So we'll somehow we'll belt that together and throw down an assembler and then get belts automated. And that will speed things up for us. Cool. So that's it for this episode. Uh, we did get some stuff done. It's a little slow, but we are starting to automate things. Looks like we've automated uh, one new product just about every episode. Data cubes are going to come really slow. I don't think we're going to see many of those for a while uh, until we really scale up. Yeah, this guy still, I don't think he's produced a single data cube the entire episode. But he's doing the analysis, but it just takes hundreds <laughs> of analyses to get us a data cube now. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Glider Kent signing off saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.